Hey guys, Gorth Ballion here. One of the most common questions I get is about the, the commercial space. How much does it cost? I am thinking of getting a commercial space. Do you think it's a good idea? And they just sort of talk about it. They almost fantasize about that. They're like, oh yeah, that'd be great to have one because then I can store my tools here and this and that. So I thought I'd make a brief video just sort of talking about uh, my thoughts on that. Our commercial space here is mostly warehouse. There's a small uh, office portion here. Very small, as you can sort of see. And, and that's the point. Um, I did visit quite a bit of commercial spaces, and I certainly wanted one with a big uh, warehouse portion because we mostly deal, as an event rental company, you know, we deal with inventory. I do have a video that sort of tours the bay briefly, and I'll, I'll link that video in the description uh, below. Feel free to check it out. So we won't be touring as much as we'll be just talking about, uh, talking about the space. So first of all, um, um, it's, it's, it's certainly like, you know, for me, I was thinking to myself, as long as I make more than this pace costs, so say it costs $30,000 a year or $40,000 a year for a commercial space, if you can increase your sales so that you make that much more, then that certainly justifies the space. As a rental company, it's far more convenient for people to just pop by your store than going to your garage, you know? And, and so for us, we certainly did see that spike in sales. I also remember watching a video um, of K a Casey Neistat video actually uh, on YouTube. And he said the moment he got his commercial sp space, um, he has like a studio, I guess, a little apartment. Uh, all right, it's pretty big, but uh, for New York, he has, uh, uh, you know, it's pretty big for New York, but he has an apartment studio there. And he said he saw an inflection point in his, in his business and his sales the moment he got that commercial space. So in essence, it's a great idea, but obviously it can backfire. Um, you know, as you can imagine, uh, if you can't afford it, then there's going to be a problem. And certainly it's not, it's not cheap. I mean, it might sort of look cheap, um, right off the bat. Um, for example, you know, you, um, see, this is our size here. Um, but like the, the down payment, the security deposit for this place, they wanted first month last month, which sort of covers the months, uh, and plus like the damage deposit, which is one month, it, it was a, it was a $6,000 check. This was a $6,000 check. Just, I mean, yeah, your first month is covered, but it's a $6,000 check right off the bat. So it's not, it's not cheap. I mean, here at least, uh, again, we're li we're living in a good time. Things aren't like booming or something. So you can get deals. Um, but I mean, right off the bat, boom, it's not cheap. Then you need racking, right? Then you might need a forklift. Then you might need all sorts of things. And then what if something goes wrong? Everything in a commercial space, I mean, some of that is covered by the owner if you're leasing, obviously. I mean, and the lease, the lease dates, it's not like, it's not like, oh, you're, it's month to month. Some of them are month to month, but most of them, so the real commercial spaces, you know, a year, absolutely minimum is a year, but most of them are three years and the majority are five year leases. So you really have to commit. This is a five year lease. So the commitment level is really high and the costs are higher than they seem. I mean, that's like with everything, right guys? Like with everything, costs are always higher. It always takes longer. You pretty much, you know, that, that's sort of like life. Um, so, just be prepared. It's a good idea to have a little bit of savings. Um, like I was very lucky because I sold my previous business, but uh, you know, and, and you guys can figure out the cost. A place like this, like the base payment without utilities is around 2,100. And you can see the size. I, I actually forget the exact square footage. I know it's 18 feet high and I don't know, like 55 feet long. And you can see the width, it's very narrow. 
There's washrooms, two washrooms, a little storage place, and that also has the mechanical room. But it's not, it's not huge. But it certainly adds so much about, as an event rental company that deals with inventory. Finally, we can store stuff properly. Your garage is completely, utterly cluttered to the brim. Um, and it's a professional place. Plus, when you're here, you absolutely focus on work. When you're working from home, it's hard to sort of get in the zone, you know, and focus. So those are just my quick thoughts. I don't know if that really told you too much, you know, um, for this kind of stuff, I'm sure there are people that are actually more experienced than me, but I do have a commercial space and um, it was super exciting. Again, it's super exciting getting it. Um, super scary at the same time. It's always a thought in the back of the mind, like this place costs a big, like, you know, you get five big jobs, boom, all that money's gone just to this space. But it, it you know, for us, for this type of business, it's, I think it's really worth it. If you, can, if you can catch up in those sales, you get the space, you get more sales, then it works. I mean, it probably doesn't apply for, for all businesses. Anyways, guys, thanks. Subscribe, like the video if, if you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.